Hey guys, I made a script today with using AutoHotKey and SimHub, which helps you control the traction control during races. And I want to show it to you and share it with you. It basically solves the issue that you sometimes have to control the, the traction control during races, like a few corners need lower or higher. But I hate to do that in racing because I tend to forget to set it back or set it back twice for a higher number, etc. etc. So prime example is Donington. We are in hot lap mode, so last corner. Right now we are in TC6, which is perfectly fine for the rest of the track. But if you accelerate out of the first corner, it just cuts a lot. But the rest of the track is great, like, I will try to show you turn 2. I'm on a monitor, not in VR, which is not my natural habitat, but... Wait to use the first gear, heavy on the throttle, and it just rotates nicely. Now, let's try again with TC5, which is not a big change, just one click, but if you forget it for the rest of the track, it can be an issue. So, last corner with TC5. had just a slight of oversteer, which is enough to have better exit, and the TC was not invasive to kill the exit speed, but in TC uh, turn 2, it just oversteered too much. Not a good exit and killing your rear tires. So let me show you what I did to prevent this. So here we are in the car, and I'm just going to click this button to the left once, then don't touch anything, and the macro should automatically put it back to the original TC, which is one higher, after 8 seconds. Also, the macro can be operated multiple times overlaid to each other, so if you click like 3 times, it will decrease your TC by 3, then it will increase back by 3 at the end of it. Let me show you how to do it in the game, then in Windows. In the game, you just have to go to Option Controls, and at the top, there's Increased Traction Control and Decreased Traction Control. The macro by default works as W and Q, but you can change it to anything. You just have to accommodate the changes in the macro. Also, if you want to use it with TC off and putting back to a uh, Previous TC, you have to put E and R to the E to zero, and R is the one which is your original TC. Sadly, it's not smart, so it cannot go back to any TC after going to zero, but for that, it would need serious telemetry reading and stuff like that, and I'm far, far not as advanced as I can do that. So, first of all, you are going to need SimHub. SimHub-.com, links in the description. It's free, you can just download, set it up. It's an awesome software with a lot of things you can do with it. And if you find it useful, please, please send some money to the developer. It unlocks a few things, nothing of that should be really used for this application, but the developer really, really deserves it. it. It's a great software. If you finished installing SimHub, close it because otherwise it won't see the changes. And you want to copy the either the AHK files, which are editable, but will need auto hotkey. I will show you that program also. Or the executable files, which I am going to delete now, and I will recompile it for you. So, here are the files. We used TC decrease one. It's super simple. It just, let me open it with, yeah. It's super simple. It sends a Q button, sleeps 8,000 milliseconds, which is eight seconds then send the W button. If you want to change it to any other button, you have to change it here. If you want to change it to different length, 
like how long it takes before it changes back you want to change it here it's milliseconds so second multiplied by 1000 also i made uh decrease 2 which basically sends a q wait 0.1 second then sends another q normal 8 seconds sleep then to increase this is just to make it one click if you work like your car or the truck needs a much lower you can if you want you can make it free this way then this will go free but don't forget that lowering the traction control below zero will uh, loop back into the highest as far as i remember or it just snaps at zero mm, i have to check that but either way you will either have a very high tc or if it it uh, blocks at zero and don't go lower then you will be increased back to three instead of two like if you want to compile your auto hotkey into exe you want the auto hotkey dash just press compile browse you should put your scripts here basically the auto hotkeys default folder ux folder select the one and compile it or convert it it makes make an exe i will do it for all five decrease one decrease to increase one increase two because sometimes you need a lower tc on track and one higher for one corner then it's much easier to just do the different also it's tc off this is like ear rouge or having a crash you just want to put your tc off this is exactly as the decrease or increase one it just uses different buttons so you can map that to it's e and r for me and it's five seconds only like if i crash i don't need more than five seconds or just keep sm spamming it until i am finished now let's go to simhub and show me how to bind the keys to your wheel so here you are at the lovely software of simhub i use it for my best shakers really really advise it to anyone to to get it it's like four little packs into the seat but not this day so you go to control and event we'll delete this so i can show you there are a few defaults i just de deleted them because i never use them and they are annoying to be here so you press new mapping and on the left you have the your inputs you don't need to search for it just do the button and it finds for you click on that go at the bottom on the right and if you copied it to the right places as you can see it both see the ahk auto key script and the exa if it's not here but you copied it to the right place just restart simhub like exit and start it again it should see it so this is decrease one and at my Thumb dial to the right is off, which I don't see. That's weird. Oh, yeah, I did not restart SimHub since. No, I will select off here. And basically, it's done now. It works with any software, any game, anything, even like out here. I just <laughs> press it. It sends the Q button and it will send the W button. Um, so you can use it with any sim easily and you can modify it to any button whatever you want like you are using q e w something to something else it just works like that i hope you will find this useful and wish you a great day see you guys